everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne. This is my week three update for One Book July. Sorry, week two. <laughs> Not week three yet. Starting week three. Week two update. Um, as you can see, I have changed my cover as I told you I would in the last video. This is a Mustang wrap from the leather quill shop and if you've not checked out the leather quill shop before i will link it in the description box below this is a gorgeous notebook uh, they don't make these on a regular basis but they do do custom orders so i'm not sure if they would do one for you but it's definitely worth a try um, and they make all kinds of gorgeous selections so if you like this rustic look they have other rustic looking notebooks so as i'll Move it in closer so you can see. There's the little blemishes where the cow might have gotten some bug bites that were healing, which is awesome. This is my favorite part. The brand right here is just absolutely gorgeous. And it is distressed, but they did it on purpose. And I think it looks amazing. And then there was a little dye transfer right here. Let me undo this. We're doing it handed today. I was hoping my tripod would be in for this update but alas, it was not. So hopefully the next one. There was a little rub uh, ink transfer from the dye when they dyed the inside, but I absolutely love that it's there. I think it adds such character to it. Uh, the leather is really thick, because that's kind of their signature thing, but it is super pliable, as you can see. I just absolutely love this notebook. I want to sleep with it, like, in my bed cuddle with it at night. It's just gorgeous. This is what the back looks like. I apologize for the beeping. My dog is standing on my scale. Piper! <laughs> Sorry about that. The dog was licking my scale. That is very interesting. Um. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, this is my update. Uh, everything inside is still the same. The cover is just different. Um, my tracker is almost filled up for my expenses, but I have this one in the back, so that's fine. I did switch back to using stickers and stuff. Let me take this off. I did switch back to using stickers in my planning because I was really missing that, like my visuals and stuff. So that's really working for me. I tried out this new week spread that I had talked about before, and I actually found that I think I liked it even less than the other one. I really didn't use it, as you can see. I mean, I did like the inspiration, but I didn't find that I was flipping back to it, and this just doesn't... They're too narrow, I think. It just doesn't appeal to me. So for this week, I'm going to go back to this um, and try it out again and see if I like it any better so some people had asked me just to flip through the pages so I'm gonna flip through really quick um, the kinds of things that I write down are like if I go out to eat a lot um, that's something I'm trying not to do a lot but it's one of the things I really like doing because I like that's how I like socializing with people over a drink and some food so I kind of write that down sometimes I put bubbles around it sometimes I don't this was last week's where you film playing with me. I journaled. I like to write when I journaled. Watched a ton of YouTube videos that day and didn't do much else. So that's what that's for. I was feeling really tired. I had some pizza. I tipped in a Project Life card with some washi. This is when I got my Mustang and I drew a little heart because I absolutely love it. Oh, and I didn't show you the charm. I'll show you that at the end. Um, I picked up the mail, changed my patch, I like to record if I have, like, green juice or watermelon juice, some kind of cold-pressed juice, so I put that in there. I use a coffee cup for when I'm doing something work or project-related, and I was being, like, super productive in a block of time, then I'll put a cup of coffee. I have coffee every day, so it doesn't make sense for me to put a cup of coffee every day. But I use it for, like, when I'm being super productive. So that's what that means. Uh, I started recording which um, episodes of TV shows that I'm watching, at least the series ones. If it's something like, like I watch Always Sunny sometimes, I won't 
do that because I've seen most of those anyway. Um, so that's that. I like to track what I'm reading, which you probably already know. So this is how many pages I read that day. And then these just mean that I was outside, like kind of tanning in the sun while I was reading. That's one of my favorite things to do in the summertime is tan and read. So that's what that is. I had a big space right here, so I just put a little um, die cut that I had gotten recently and wrote Sun Bunny. Art journals. I like to track when I order something and when I receive something. It kind of shows me that like, oh hey, you're kind of falling off the wagon on that. Or you did good or whatever. So I cleaned out my car on Wednesday, cleaned the bathroom, vacuumed floors, yada yada yada. I track when I work. Um, I work really short shifts right now because it's the summertime and I have a seasonal job. Um, I just graduated with my BA, so I'm just kind of taking it easy for the summer before I get back into things in full swing. Get a, like, a hardcore job, as you could say. And I'm also trying to launch that project that I was talking to you about, so this working a little bit gives me time to do that. I also help my aunt um, take care of my elderly grandmother, so um, my days are pretty busy, but that's why I only have a little bit of work. But I do, as you can see, worked quite a few days this week. It's kind of like an as-they-need-me type thing. I don't really have a set schedule. I tipped this in. One of the problems I ran into this week was I used to have an idea book, if you watched my first setup video. Um, I used to have an idea book, and that's not in here, obviously, and I didn't have a sticky note, so I just tipped in a Project Life card that I had had in my wallet and stuck that in there, and it worked, but that's definitely something I want to put in my setup later, um, so you can see lots of ideas today. That's definitely something I want to incorporate back in there. More watermelon juice. Breakfast. Order cards, blah, blah, blah. I had a burger for dinner. Lunch out. Did a lot of art that evening. That was fun. And then here, I'm really excited about these. I should have written down where I got them. It's, I believe it's the Sassy Planner Club. But if that's incorrect, I will leave the link below. So these are, she does all kinds of cute, kawaii stamps. <clears throat> specifically for planners so this is kind of this is the summer fun set and I was looking for watermelon stickers and I couldn't find one because I think I've talked to you about this before I like my watermelon juice and I wanted a sticker to represent that and because all the smoothie ones are like I drink green juice and watermelon juice pretty much and the smoothie stickers that I found are like there's a lot of banana ones and stuff and that's just not my thing so I wanted a watermelon one so I got this stamp set and I just took my uh, artist loft watercolor palette and I just watercolored over it and I love it it's absolutely adorable I also really like drinking wine and so I'm trying to track how much I'm drinking that so because a little bit's okay but you shouldn't drink excessively so I was gonna, planning on having another one but I didn't so I didn't color it in but that's just what that is and that is a stamp from this set it's right next to the pineapple in the top right corner and then sippy sippy kind of cute so yeah and then I used this page at the end for my grocery list and I really really liked that I love how it came out I think it's gorgeous now I don't take this into the grocery store with me I take a picture on my phone of my list so that I'm not carrying all these things around in there but that really worked for me and yeah I think that's the only update I have really um, the other thing is I still haven't touched this in here, but I also really just kind of shoved things in there. I didn't put in kind of the things that I would want to use currently, so I'm going to change it out and put in some of the new embellishments that I got and stuff and see if I use that then. 
Um, I wish that I could find a place to put this in my planner, um, just so I could have it with me all the time, but then I'd have to carry a stamp pad. I mean, I do have a little one from the Tim Holtz Distress Ink, which is convenient because it's a small one, but it's still, it's not convenient enough for me to carry around with me. So yeah, and that's, oh, and I got this, this cute folder from the leather cool shop as well i love it it's adorable there it is and there's just some pictures in there that i need to journal about so yeah that would be my week two update thank you so much for watching um someone had requested that i do a plan with me in my passion planner again, even though I wasn't using it because I guess they love watching them. But I think I'm going to do a plan with me one book July edition for this week. I had already started a little bit on today, but I kind of stopped. So um, that video should be up as well by the time you're watching this. So if you are interested in that, go ahead on over and click on that. The link to my Instagram is in the description box if you're interested in checking me out on there. And... I think that's about it. Hope your one book July is going well, or your July in general, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.